Grants from the National Institutes of Health have helped create breakthroughs in cancer treatments, heart disease, and vaccine development. But scientists from some of the nation's top medical labs are warning that the Trump administration's plan to cut $4 billion in funding for equipment and research staff, known as indirect costs, could jeopardize medical progress. CBS's medical contributor, Dr. Celine Gounder, joins us now. Doctor, thank you so much um, for joining us. Let's start with what research is in jeopardy if this move goes forward. Well, when we're talking about these indirect costs, imagine you're making dinner for your family. You stop at the grocery store, you pick up groceries, but you still can't make that dinner without a kitchen, without pots and pans, without electricity, without water. That's what those indirect costs are for science. So without all of that other support, you can't do science. And what, what would the impacts be or the effects be outside of the scientific community from this kind of move? Well, this would impact, first of all, all science uh, funded by the NIH, as well as even outside of that. But there are very real economic impacts here. Uh, the NIH supports over 400,000 jobs across the country, uh, creates over $90 billion in new economic activity. So to put that into context, for every dollar of NIH research funding, you get $2.50 back in new economic activity. And and how where do you think Americans would start to recognize this in the way they in their in the health field or in any other way? You probably will see a delayed effect in terms of the science itself, but it's all of the people that are employed by academic medical centers, not just scientists, but it's the security guards, it's the janitors, it's the folks in uh, IT support. You're going to see a lot of job cuts at academic medical centers, particularly those that are especially reliant on these funds. And in some communities, places like Durham, Indianapolis, Cleveland, where the academic medical centers are the primary employer, those communities could be hit very hard. And, and what about, say, the next generation? I mean, of people who've been inspired to go into medicine with this kind of funding on, how, how might that affect them? Well, first of all, being a scientist is not a very lucrative job, uh, and it takes years of training. So you really have to want to do this. And then when you look at that and you consider, gosh, I might not even have a job at the end of the day, it makes people think twice about whether they want to consider a career in science. 